Now that's not a bad view, is it, to wake up to? This is my garden. Do you like it? There's a lot of people bloody in it, though. I think they've got a ruddy cheek. It's lovely, isn't it? Breakfast is cooking. The sun is shining. She's a bit looking. A bit blushy out there. Looking forward to my breakfast. I'm bloody starving. Good afternoon. Right, I've done some jobs on my van. Well, done a couple of things. I bought these wind deflectors. I don't know if you can see them. Um, I'll move that to the side as well. I've had them. How long? Several months. <laughs> And I just got around to fitting them. Well, I tried with one actually a couple of weeks ago, and um, it just seemed really stiff. Ooh, uh, uh, and, they, and there's these clips that are supposed to clip them in, but I have no idea how they go. The instructions are not very clear. You can watch a video, but the video doesn't show a close up, so who knows what's going on. Uh, so hopefully they'll be secure. Also find out what I'm driving about. <laughs> they drop out, obviously not secure. Anyway, it's um, Sunday afternoon, three o'clock. I'm, I'm wondering about having a walk onto the pub on the road, not for alcohol. Uh, I'm not actually hungry either. So what would be the point? <laughs> I don't want to drink anything. I don't want to eat anything. I could just sit there and look at other people, I suppose. But that'd be a bit weird. Uh, so it's been a lovely day up to press. It's, it's got cloudy now and it's um, quite cold in the wind. So I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. just make a drink here and edit a video or read or do something else. But it would be nice to go for a little jaunt. I think I might. Um, but not to the pub. But they're busy anyway. Right. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Oh, yeah, I said I'd done a couple of jobs. The other thing was, uh, I... Uh... I like watching dogs playing. So giddy. Uh, I cut the pipe down, the rubber pipe, to the the one that goes to the copper gas pipe, and uh, and the uh, sorry, <laughs> bit easily distracted, and the cylinder made it a bit shorter. I don't know if that make a difference to anything. Probably not, but why not? I did that thing, I pressed in the little valve on the cylinder and I don't know if it's because it's quite full, it was kind of doing a spitting thing, which Neil from Safehill said it shouldn't do that, but he did say wait until it comes below the, uh, the line, the sort of red plastic to do that so I don't know if that makes a difference if it's fuller if it will spit but I'm going to mention that in my email anyway anyway that's all I've done but that's that's something isn't it it's better than sod all well I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday I like it up here I'm going to stay another night it has a nice feel about it in fact, up to press, it's my favourite spot. Uh, last night there were some, I can't call them young people, but younger than me, <laughs> which is obviously a lot of people. Um, and they were kind of in a car, revving its bollocks off and skidding, uh, and then they drove off. I'm not too fussed about stuff, what people do, as long as they leave me alone. Yes. Anyway. I'm going to 
just going to go for a walk now in opposite direction to the pub. So there. It's not very close to the stream. As you can see, it's not the easiest to get to. I'm really glad I've rediscovered this place. Grandchildren down here. I don't picking up that noise. It sounds like somebody's got the vacuum cleaner out. Maybe somebody's vacuuming the moor. Here's this epic tree again. Look at it. Beautiful, and it's really warm. I'm walking through the woods, and all the birds are tweet tweeting away. All happy because it's spring, nearly. So, I've been on the walk. It was very nice. Sun came out, it's always a good thing. It's actually feeling like spring now. It's like coming out of a dark tunnel, isn't it? When you come out of winter, and you come out into the light. And things feel lighter and brighter. Um, that light's flickering, I don't know if you can see. Stop it. Yeah, so, uh, so yes, that was nice. So I've got, um, a chocolate, banana and walnut cake baking. Made up recipe, so I don't know what it'll be like, but anyway. Hopefully it'll be good. I've got my um, microphone on as well. I can't tell if it's working without listening back, so hopefully it is working. Although in my last video you said that you could hear me okay. So, I don't know why that was different. So I've... Um, I've been reading this book. Hopefully that's the right way around. Mindfulness for Health. Uh, a woman at that Buddhist retreat suggested it actually. And uh, reading it gives me hope that I can feel a lot better. Because I spent a lot of time and energy on lots of physical things to make me feel better like exercise and diet and supplements and blah 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 um i guess i haven't tackled my mind so much because it was the hardest thing to do you know it's like how do you change patterns of thinking easily <laughs> you don't it's not easy uh so i suppose i focused on things that were easier but yes that that mindfulness i mean lots of studies have been done and it, it they claim to help mindfulness claims to help physical and mental health issues 
uh, and break cycles of habitual thinking and what have you. So I feel optimistic that things can get better reading that. So that's good. I think I've also made a decision about what I'm doing van-wise. Well, I'm keeping my van. Um, but I think how I'd been thinking was that, all right, I'm getting a van. I've got to get my van. I've got to bugger off somewhere. I've got to go travelling. I've got to do this, that and the other. And it was just a lot of pressure. Because it takes time to adapt. Well, it's taken me time to adapt to being in a van after being in a house all my life. So that was adding pressure to me. Plus, this, you know, thinking about my daughter and my grandchildren, thinking I need to be around for my daughter. I can't just bugger off, you know, and disappear for however long. So I'm thinking I might just stay around here. I can see my daughter and my grandchildren. I can still go off places. And... And just go with the flow a bit more. Stop trying to control everything and think that I need to be doing this or I need to be doing that. Just be in the moment, go with what's happening right now and see where that takes me. Yes. So, I mean, this, this park up here, I really like it. <laughs> and it's kind of, it's it's far enough away from people to be peaceful oh, well that's when all these people have pissed off <laughs> it's obviously a popular location but you know they all they'll drift away as, as the day goes on well they are doing already because it's nearly tea time um and then it's quiet and it's just me pretty much uh but it's it's close enough to like supermarket and sort of town and stuff so it's kind of it's kind of a um, perfect location. Or it feels pretty perfect at the moment. So I'm liking that. Things are feeling okay. Pretty good, really. Obviously, the heat is still a situation that needs dealing with. But it's actually getting warmer. And at some point, I won't even need to think about my heater. But the thing is, with the warmer weather, I can potentially get my mattresses out and do stuff with me here or go go see somebody to help me with it which i might do yeah but it's like just feeling more motivated just doing some things on my van today it's just it's been good to do that get things done i think winter is a time for sort of is it hunkering down is that the right phrase going inward not being overly active of course the way we live our lives doesn't allow for that does it you know, activities non-stop, uh, which is not helpful or, or useful or healthy for your health, really. Healthy for your health. Um, I can smell my cake. I might need to check that in a minute. Cake's doing well. So, it, sun's coming out, spring's here, everything's feeling better. I'm feeling optimistic. Anyway... I'll leave it there, I think. So thank you for watching. Please give me a like if you've liked anything. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.